Okay, now uh, I'm going to try to speed up a little bit. Uh, I've been studying this question with incre this this development with increasing anxiety, I must say. And you know, it's it's often when you when you see things and you want to um, say something that might help stop it, you're you're often at times um, uh, fail. Okay. Uh, and I think I've uh, failed at times to express to my friends and my comrades uh, this anxiety. Uh, and I feel that I'm very happy to be here, at least I can tell you. Uh, <laughs> because what, what, uh, what's increasingly happening is that this, um, to, this use of the notion of the commons by the World Bank uh, has become now a, uh, a political reality. It has now gone from the policy papers and the research bulletins of uh, the uh, World Bank and uh, the, the UN and a couple of uh, allied uh, academics to now it's become something of a political reality. And it became, I think, a, a came, became a political reality in July of last year in the, uh, basically in the, in the period when the G8 met in, um, uh, in Glen Eagle, Scotland. And uh, it was that time, remember, when, you, when, when the Live Aid concerts and Make Poverty History uh, became the way in which the, uh, the politics of that, of that moment were, was expressed, and that, in fact, the uh, anti-globalization movement that attempted to uh, stop the proceedings of the G8 were, in effect, not only opposed by the police, the, the, the arm of uh, authoritarian uh, governments that are going to stop uh, the, these, um, um, these people from this important meeting, but in fact, what begins to happen is that there's another a group that's also in the streets that, in effect, um, quote unquote, you might say, hijacked the the demonstrations, and this this uh, this movement, which was made up of some surprising people, for example, in that crowd of the uh, that was attending the uh, Live Aid concerts, right? Guess who was there? I'm sure you know the name of this man. His name is Paul Wolfowitz. Remember him? Present, president of the World Bank. Well, he was in that crowd. He was listening to Bono. He was part of this group that is saying, more money to Africa. Achieve the UN's millennial, millennium development goals, right? Uh, when you examine the writings and the thinking behind that campaign, you will now begin to see what I call Plan B a plan that uses the notions of cooperation, of collective action, and of the commons to, in effect, say, capitalism can have a human face, capitalism can make life in Africa human and poverty-free, and the most important question now is to pressure the uh, authorities so that uh, they can let capitalism work, okay? So that's now out in the field, it's happening, all right? And when I saw it happen, it was, I was down with the chicken pox uh, during that, uh, that summer, last summer, and as I was um, trying to recover from that interesting disease, uh, I, I, I said to myself, oh my God, it happened. I was waiting for it to happen. You know, you wait for years for something to happen, and then suddenly it happens, and I said, ah. Oh, it's now happened. That is, the commons, the notion that um, uh, capitalism can't be completely um, um, charge a price for everything, but that there, there is a necessity for a transition to a fully neoliberal uh, economy uh, is, is something now that's very much part of the reality. And it's a reality that we must deal with from now on. Okay. For me, the most important question about the commons is that 
to heal the original cut that capitalism has made between workers and the means of subsistence and the means of production. If, if the commons cannot do this, cannot begin to heal that separation, because it's that separation that is crucial for the, continue, the creation of a capitalist society. It's when workers are taken away from their means of subsistence and production that you can have workers that are ready for either wage work or, or slavery or unwaged work to get to reproduce wage workers. Okay? It's only when you take people away from the means of subsistence and production that this can happen. And as far as I'm concerned, in a, a commons that doesn't help bring these two together uh, is seriously deficient.